Good morning folks. It is a very auspicious day for the S. Sripal family as we carry forward our legacy and lineage and today we have officially launched the NGO that is a non-profitable government organization on behalf of the S. Sripal legacy that is the S. Sripal Jain National Global Research Foundation based on the principles of Jainism of Ahimsa which is the basic core principle which was followed by the great leaders of India and all over the world to name a few Mahatma Gandhi, Nelson Mandela which deals with the principles of Ahimsa towards all creations of God. <coughs> Beg your pardon, the monsoons have hit Delhi and uh, my throat is slightly affected but I'm all good. Really happy to launch the foundation today and uh, today basically I would like to introduce to all of you the most powerful principles of Jainism that is Ahimsa, formidable forgiveness. Formidable is a word which we normally use for something that is aggressive or something that we want to fight for but here we use the word formidable forgiveness as to mean that we need to forgive anything and everything that happens to us it is the rule and the will of the almighty what the almighty does to compromise for what has happened to us is the Almighty's will and command. So, Om Jai Jinendra and the other principle is self-knowledge. Jainism teaches us that we are all God. We just have not realized it yet. So, the apostles of Jainism are the 24 Tirthankaras starting from Adi Bhagwan and the 24th one is Bhagwan Vardhaman Mahavi Tirthankara. So these are the 24 Tirthankaras, and our main Mula Mantra is the Panchanamukara Mantra. It is a very, very powerful mantra and is recited in counts of 8, that is 8 or 16 or 28 or 108 or 1008 times. It has great power when recited properly with the proper pronunciation and you would feel the state of bliss when recited with complete surrender, dedication, devotion, faith, trust, hope and complete belief in the Almighty. The Panchadamukhana Mantra I shall recite now. I hope all of you would enjoy listening to this mantra and would of course recite them for your personal well-being and the well-being of all God's creations. The meaning of the mantra I would certainly say in my next video. The mantra goes this way as I recite it now. Panchanamukara Mantra Om Namo Arahantana Om Namo Sthana Om Namo Ayariyana Om Namo Ujjhayana Om Namo Lohe Savvasahuna Om Namo Yesu Panchanamukara Om Namo Savvapapa Pranasana Om Namo Mangalanam Sasarvesi Om Namo Pranam Avai Mangalam Pronunciation is very important so make sure when you recite or you teach your kids for people who want to learn the mantra, the pronunciation is said correctly. My father has also started the BA, MA, and full PhD doctorate degree in Jainism and research in the Madras University. He holds the post of being the president of Jainism and research nationally and globally and has contributed in the field of Jainism an enormous and colossal amount for the goodness and the propaganda of the great principles of Jains.
Myself, my family, that is from my father's and my mother's, we belong to the Digava Jain community. I'm very proud of it. The power this community holds and wields does not come out of force. One snippet, which is my signature style, which I would like to tell you is that in the national and international flights, if you notice, in the menu side, which is very important during the flight journeys, you look forward towards the food always, that you would see vegetarian, envy, and Jain menu. No other community in the world has this capacity to hand over their own menu, which national and international organizations are given license, only the Jain menu is added. This shows the good name and the good will this community has earned all over the world and till today stands by on the basic principles of Ahimsa. Our Jain Munis, that is a whole big topic altogether. Sushil Muni, one of the greatest Jain Munis, is a very close friend of my father, a family friend, and all our family members have received his blessings. He has actually personally blessed each one of us, and our Jain Munis, whether it's male or female, never travel by motor. They travel by foot. And even if it is from Rajasthan to Chennai or from north to south, south to north, they take it over a period of days and they travel by foot. Just with water and a wooden supportive stick by their side. What they go through is something a very great, tremendous tough spiritual journey which I would get into detail later. Today I just wanted to introduce the launching of our S. Ripa Jain National Global Research Foundation on August 14th, 2019, Wednesday. So it is a very fulfilling and happy journey it's going to continue lineage and legacy over generations to come with his four grandchildren my brother's two children my elder brother's two children my two children right now it is our time the children are young they are studying when their time comes their children and they would of course carry forward this great legacy I just wanted to basically today introduce the fact that the foundation has been launched, the NGO has been launched. We would love to get donations on the basis for the organization for the helping of the downtrodden in education through well being, through safety, shelter, security any details please contact me my mobile number is double nine one zero eight zero double three seven four and further details will be soon updated in the site our facebook page beg your pardon our facebook page goes by the name s ripal j national global research foundation login and become a member and like the page make sure you subscribe and like this video too as it is the main focus that purity and safety and security and strength is given to all of God's creations Jain community is the only community which has a hospital for birds birds from all over the world when they're sick the hospital is located in Jaipur, the pink city of Rajasthan. They come there. How do they know the route, the geographical area? But they know. They come there when they are sick. They get treated and they go back to their homeland. This is the wonderment and the greatness of this great religion. 
I follow this religion not just because it is a religion. I follow this staunchly because of its divine and great principles. So hereby I welcome all of you to join this NGO and contribute so that we are there for each other and we help each other and really help the people and the creations who are in need of help. That is the basic aim and motto of this foundation and we wish you all the best and we wish you a spiritual journey carries forward to you, to your family, to a state of bliss which satisfies you and makes you one with the Almighty. Om Jai Jinendra, signing off Dr. Supriya Sripal on behalf of the S. Sripal Jain National Global Research Foundation. Om Jai Jinendra.